Yeah, a randomized trial is an experiment where you have two options and one group of patients would receive one option and another group of patients would receive the other option. And then you very carefully monitor those patients over time and then you see which group did better. So it's a somewhat artificial experience, but it's the best way to closely answer a particular question, is A better than B or is B better than A? Now in contrast, an observational study is what it sounds like. You observe patients in routine care. Now in routine care, some patients will get A, some patients will get B. And what you do then is just to look at the data and see which one performs better. Now an RCT is wonderful in that it can answer a fundamental question under very controlled circumstances, what we call efficacy. The problem with an RCT is that it's not real world. It's very much of an experiment. You very carefully make sure the patient receives what they're supposed to. They come to the doctor as often as they're supposed to. And that's not what routine care is. Routine care is you and your doctor decide what you think is the right treatment. And then over time, you may switch therapies. You may remember to take your medicine. You may forget to take your medicine. So what's nice about an observational study is it reflects the real world on the other hand, there's all sorts of biases and things that you can't take into account very easily. There are people who spend their life doing randomized trials, and then there's a different group of people who spend their life doing observational studies. Not that many people actually are trained and do both. So like anything else, if you, this is what you do, you tend to think that's um, what the right thing to do is. On the other hand, there are very, very real reasons why one may be preferred over another. Uh, people who are in the payer community are concerned that uh, what is being tested in a randomized trial isn't the real world and what they're paying for very much is the real world and they want to really examine what happens in real life because things may look very very good in a clinical trial but then in the realities of day-to-day -day medicine patients may not have the money to buy their medicine or any of a number of issues it may turn out quite differently there are new types of experimental studies that are trying to bridge the gap. They're called pragmatic clinical trials, where you begin by randomizing the patient to receive A or B, but then you let the doctor and patient just run with the care as they normally would. So it's not as tightly controlled as an experimental trial, but it's not as loose as a normal observational study. And there's a lot of traction being gained towards these type of investigations, and I think we're gonna see more of them in the future.